Welcome back everybody. Sorry about last week. I got sick and wasn't able to get my videos uploaded. But this week, we're going to talk about the corner cabinet. So let's get to it. Okay, so to figure out what we're going to be on our interior from here to here, we take our 36 and we subtract a quarter for our face frame that's sticking out. That gives us 34 and three quarter. And then we subtract 34 from the side. Okay. That gives us, I'm sorry, three quarters for the side, which gives us 35. And then we got a half inch for the back. So 34 and a half. All right. So you're going to have 34 and a half inside to here to here to here to here. And then from here to here will be our uh, 22 and three quarter okay and we calculated that just a minute ago we took off a half for the back and then three quarter for the face frame that gives us 24 24 inches okay now what you'll want to do is i would cut this what i did was i cut this in a 36 inch square and really um you can calculate all you can calculate all this and cut it but the best thing to do is to take your back once you get it 23 and a quarter all right and then you could figure out everything from there on your back side and then you want to take and clip your back off and the reason you want to do that is because nothing's square in a house and that keeps you from having a problem with that now if you're doing a corner cabinet out somewhere else Okay, so now I got a spiral spiral flush bit, trim bit with the bottom bearing. And you could do it reverse, you could do it with the top bearing. And you don't have to have a, a spiral, you can use just the regular flush trim bits, they work fine. But again, since I'm using this pre-finished stuff, it's chippy. Alright, so all I'm going to do is run this down and over and get my notch exactly the same. And then I'm going to get my back panel and... Uh, we'll be good to go on the interior of this thing. We can start getting it put together. Now I'm just going to chisel this corner out and, and we should be good. All right, so we're looking at the uh, construction here. Uh, basically, I got three quarter bottom, three quarter side panel, three quarter side panel. Got the back there that's uh, come down. Now I did something funny on this. I wasn't paying attention. I actually cut the cut the back panel back here. Um, <laughs> these at 45 degrees and that at 45 degrees. So that makes that piece straight. But it also makes it so there's three quarters of an inch deep instead of a half inch. So I guess you could do it that way. It should have been 22 and a half, 22 and a half. And then I should have cut both of my other ones at 22 and a half. And then that would have worked out. So basically what I did was I, um, I just put three dominoes in it. And I actually wasn't paying attention and I went too deep. But it doesn't matter because you won't see it. Um, just for alignment. And then underneath... It's just, it's just pocket screwed together. So just glue on the dominoes and pocket screwed. Um, and as far as the back goes, we got the rabbit in there and all it is is just some screws in the back of it in case I need to take the back, back panel off. Now on the, on the back side here, I just glued this in drop it down in there glued it in and then shot staples at an angle so this whole piece would actually come off um you know if i have to access for the lazy susan or whatnot all right all right thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe 
And we'll catch you next time.